Okay, so I overshot my um, destination on the way back. I'm up on Turtlehead Peak, and I finally hit the main trail once again. And I'm just at the beginning of the saddle here. Um, but I learned something. So the way I came down from, okay, I was up at this pinnacle almost and that's where I want to be to navigate around the backside of La Madre Mountain cliffs. There's the cliffs, there's La Madre Mountain. So I want to be right up about here and then I'll find a way to navigate around um, another landmark here is Damsel Peak and then you can see down in the Calico Basin and so here's the route that I took on the way back. Um, I actually came down this wash and um, actually it might have been that wash, but it was the wash behind Calico Hills here. And um, you can see where between the two Calico Hills the wash continues. I went all the way down there and then straight up to where I'm standing now, which is really the backside of Turtlehead Peak. And what that did was, um, well, if I reverse it, then where I want to be is I want to be down somewhere in, I want to be in that wash between the two calico hill areas and then head up that wash and over to the edge of the cliff system uh, between that mound of a hill and uh, you can see the little pinnacle in the middle and then where the cliff system begins and just to the right of that pinnacle is where I want to emerge and you kind of see the wash area where um, where you can make that happen by staying in the wash. And probably where you see it divide, right about here, I take the right one. And that would take me around and then on up. And I would end up in the right orientation. The only thing is it involves a pretty substantial descent and ascent again. So probably add a couple thousand feet elevation gain if you count both directions to, um, to an already 4,000 foot elevation gain experience. Um, to, to try to do that in one day is pushing the limits a bit. That's 6,000 feet of elevation gain. So anyway, that is the far east side of the upper Calico Basin. And um, if I'm to navigate around the edge of that cliff system, that would be one of the ways I could go. I guess I could go to the left of this um, first Calico Hill area and then um, navigate over and that way over to the wash. That way I would avoid um, I would avoid the uh, the ups and downs of, of all the washes and cliff areas. So I guess another way would be to come around the edge of the um, 
upper saddle the way I did this morning and then head down to just the left tip of those Calico Hills and then navigate across. It's pretty smooth there and hit the wash and then um, take a left and go on up that um, right fork of the wash. So maybe I'll try that next time. It could cut off some time. We'll see. Anyway, I'm heading back down to Sandstone Quarry now and um, have done many recordings of the trip down from Turtlehead Peak. You can see the Turtlehead Peak page on LasVegasAreaTrails.com and it will give you the, the rest of this day's trip down to Sandstone Quarry in the parking lot down there. Um, anyway, that is today's adventure, and um, it's been a beautiful day. The water's held out. Uh, my mouth's a little dry, so I need to drink uh, a few more sips here to moisten up. Then I'm heading down. Signing off.